Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to Sonars. <laughs> Can't do that. Anyways, welcome back to some more Paragon. I'm doing another hero review slash deck build. Today we're doing Grux. Um, most people play him as a tank. I play him as a jungler, and that's what I'll be reviewing today. His jungle build, because that's all I play. Anyways, his passive, which is really good. Only strong survive. Grux permanently, permanently gains 5 max health every time he kills a unit. Now, this is perfect for him because his lane clear at around level 4 is pretty much a full wave clear if you have damage items right away. But even though, even then, his lane clear is really fast. Chop, basic attack, don't need to be with that. Don't pain, really good ability. It's a small arc, a small arc ability in front of your body which does um, AoE damage um, and it applies bleed same thing as Kalari's dagger sucks uh, smash and grab a really good ability it's a cone AoE which pulls every single unit that's in that cone to Grux in a little pile and it also does 80 physical damage okay but it's combined that with double pain that's his lane clear amazing and his main combo for damage charge um he charges 1200 units dealing 50 physical damage to all enemies his path i would not use this as a damaging ability or anything to initiate or anything no i would save this ability for an escape because grux honestly kind of needs it if he is gonna go for the damage you build and warlord's challenge grux stuns all nearby enemies for 0.5 seconds he gains bleed on basic attacks 60 physical damage and 50 max movement speed for six seconds this is amazing for initiating battles this is your initiator right here actually hmm, i would do if you don't have smash and grab already like on cooldown warlord challenge is a way to go but your main combo smash and grab double pain warlord challenge then rack them up with basic attacks anyways that's the uh, abilities now we go on to the decks um new Grux, i just still didn't name it um anyways uh for your prime you go warlord physical damage because you're not going tanky in this build sorry guys uh, your first item that you want to pick up is... Wow, it's not in order. Let me hold on real quick, guys. Well, you start start off with Mana, Health, Harvest the Key. Pretty simple starter. Not a lot of people think it's useful, but it's extremely useful. Then you want to go straight into... Where is the passive? Oh, it's, I have to scroll down. <laughs> you want to go straight into Merciless. Put that in your passive. This increases your damage a crap ton because it increases your crit rate and attack speed you put three boosts in there i put um my three sinister or two sinister wounds and then some other crit chance i think it's a dire wound i increase um his crit rate by a crap ton pretty much and he does a crap ton damage in the beginning of the game next you want to move on to uh, mana, which would be what? Fountain spike right here. Fountain spike. You want to put two major manas. I think that's what they call it. Major manas in first and second slot, and third slot you want to put major strike, which is a three cost damage, physical damage. Anyways, next you want to go ahead and pick up amulet of the veteran. You this would be great. Um, combining with your passive it gives you a little bit more sustain in the battle. Um, uh, pretty much one health item and then two major strikes for the damage. Next, you want to move into another crit chance item. Spear of the Rift Hunter is great. Increase your crit chance by even more because you'll have that kind of money by then. I, if you can put crit chance 
in all three slots, but if you can't, just put major strikes in places you can't. Next, you want to finish off with wind carver blades. This will increase your attack speed and physical damage. You want to increase your attack speed as much as possible. So if you can, put attack speed in all three, but I personally put attack speed in two and major strike in one um and if you have enough time and points go ahead and pick up any other item you want i personally put thirst fang because late game for some reason tanks start doing damage and so you so i grab some life steal and boom you're good upgrades you guys i already talked about that major strikes sinister wound major wound major strike kinetic attack speed Health, um, Dire Wind Crit Chance, Attack Speed, Greater Drain, uh, Kinetic, and Advanced Mana. Oh, that's, that's what it's called. That's Mana. Not Major Mana. Uh, anyways, that's it. If you haven't noticed, a lot of my upgrades are 3 cost. Uh, I feel like Grux has enough lane clear to gain enough points. More points than anyone else in the game, actually to actually be able to sustain all this upgrades and still be liable. <laughs> Anyways, that is the jungle Grux deck build. Uh, hope you guys like this video and stay tuned in about a week after this video will be posted. I will be revealing my new Kalari build. The Kalari build I built before was kind of iffy, but this build has been working out if you guys want to see the um <laughs> results for the grux battles i've just been doing here it is there's my name with gaming 614 that was a really really slow slash fast game um right here 25 5 and 5 that was an amazing game <laughs> I was wrecking every single person that came near me. Oh, by the way, the the video is over, guys. You guys don't have to stay. I'm just rambling on. And then everything else, I put Kalari. This is Grux, another same build. 7, 4, and 12. I did a lot of assists on that one. Anyways, I'm going to stop boring you guys with the nonsense. Hope you guys liked the video. Subscribe if you want more. Uh, like the video if you just let me know if you like these deck builds and comment below if you want any more reviews specific reviews and I'll see you guys later. Bye